I think the title of this video kind of gives it away. Do you want a ceiling update? Because that's what you're going to get. That's right. It's going to be scintillating this episode, I can tell you. Um, there's a slight annoyance. Do you see that light there? That's for sunlight uh, bursting through the cracks oh, of the blind. And this is the right position. This is just comfortable for me to have a chat to the camera, but it's going to be distracting for you. So I'm going to kind of have to do this. And uh, look at that, I look like Two Face from the Batman films. Out the way, light. Anyway, seedling review. Um, let's start with the most pathetic specimen and build up to the Mac Daddy. Uh, right. Have a guess at what that is. And bring it closer to the camera so you can get a good look. What do you think that little jobby is? That little specimen there? I won't do the big reveal until the end of the video, but there we go. Number one. Looking very pathetic indeed. Uh, oh, up next. Look how sexy that little bugger is. That there, along with that one there, uh, that one there, and finally that little bugger. They are honey boat squash. This is my second attempt at trying to grow these. The first batch I think I put out too, too early and they just died. Stem rot. Um, always water your plants from the bottom people, not from above like I was doing. Anyway, this is what the honey boat squash look like. I'm really excited about uh, these seedlings and these this particular plant because I've never grown one before. And it says even sweeter than a butternut squash. It just gets a thumbs up from me all over. Sweet orange flesh tastes just like sweet potato. Fruits store for months. So I've got four of those on the boil. I do have one that hasn't woken up as of yet, but hopefully if they're anything like butternut squash plants, they'll just pump out loads and loads of fruit. Uh, up next, have a look at that one there. What do you reckon that one is? Well, here's a slightly wonkier specimen. There we go, slightly bigger, but a little drunk in this pot. That is a musk melon. There we go, never grown those before. Uh, don't have the packet to show you the, uh, the picture. But yeah, we're doing all right on the old musk melons. What are you, you're a honey boat squash. Whatever, I'll put you over there. Oh. Yeah, another musk melon. So three of those have managed to survive. Uh, on to now three of these. Any ideas? One, two, and the third one oh, is just down there. You'll have to take my word for it. Sugar baby watermelons. There you go. Hardy plants with large citrus fruits. Never grown these before. I think it was Kit who put me on to this particular uh, fruit. He'd been growing some, or well, has been growing some at uh, his place um, under grow lights, and I think his plants are like way up here. Mine have just had the windowsill and the outdoors 
uh, to contend with and they're doing okay I'm quite surprised I've never grown I've never gotten watermelon seeds to this stage before so I must be doing something right I don't know what it is but they are happy enough in their pots for now and finally where are we this is the one I'm most proud of. The old Atlantic giant pumpkin. I grew two of these. I gave the other one to my dad. He's gonna plant that one in his garden at home. This one's going up to the allotment. And this is doing pretty well. I think it's not far off uh, from being taken up to the allotment and planted out. So that's it. Not much going on in the seedling department here. Um, I've killed a lot of stuff, you know. I have killed a lot of seedlings and just not documented it. Um, but these are my successes for definite. And uh, I have planted a load of seeds out direct onto a plot. And I have taken other stuff like the broccoli. Oh, the onions, the potatoes, blah, 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 blah. They're already up there. Um, going great guns. Finally. Let me just extract this ceiling here. This is not good for you, is it? Watching me do something off camera, and you have no idea what it is, but I'll... There we go, chitting on a piece of damp tissue that I forgot about. That there is another Atlantic giant pumpkin seedling trying to have a go. And I really need to plant it into a pot and give it a chance at life, don't you think? I really do. Um, that there is all that's going on in the kitchen at my house um, so yeah short and sweet I guess this video uh, is gonna be right what is that did you have a guess that is a broad bean people that never made it well it's made it but it just looks spindly and pathetic it lives outside I don't know what's going on underneath the soil. Maybe there's some kind of subterranean uh, jungle going on in the soil. I mean, it's only just pumped out one shoot. But yeah, this lives outside, gets all the light it needs, and yet it's only done that. That is it. I told you this was going to be a scintillating video, didn't I? Um, yeah. I have nothing else to say or add to this video. Uh, the next one will be from the allotment and will probably be a plot tour. What a yawn fest that's going to be, eh? Right, thank you for tuning in. If you have, remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe uh, to this channel, and uh, most importantly, please do comment down below. And uh, until the next video, Bye for now.